Hello, fellow humans, and welcome back to Shitcoin Fundamentals. Today, I have experimental format. It's new. We will see how you like it. It's called the bottom of the barrel. It's more meant as an entertaining, entertaining video in which we basically dig on the last page of coin market cap and see what are the smallest coins with the smallest, for example, market capitalization. We will start with this today. If you enjoy the videos I'm making and you're interested to see more, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel. There are other videos already on the channel, which I think you will enjoy. And please also leave comments what coins I should do next in my series, The Gold Nuggets, where I basically analyze, do fundamental analysis of small capitalization uh, coins. So please comment below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and like the video. And let's go. We are already on coin market cap and we will go to the section below where all of the coins are listed. And you see here the, the standard coins are starting with, but this is not where we want to go. We want to go much, much further back. So we will first add a filter. Otherwise it's just too many pages. Luckily they have a filter for the market capitalization and we will st start with one US dollar. There are a lot of coins which have zero market capitalization. I will not do them because it's kind of boring. We will make coins that start with at least one uh, US dollar of market capitalization. And let's go to a thousand. We will apply these filters. Let's see the results. Oh, here already some three digits. I think I also see our first candidate already here. This is called Innovative Bio Research Classic, I-N-N-B-C-L, very long short name uh, here already. So let's, let's click it. It has a market capitalization of 246 US dollars but it had a 24 hour volume of uh, 405, uh, 405 US dollars. Quite impressive, like almost double as much uh, volume, exchange volume than market capitalization. So let's click on the coin and let's dig, dig in a little bit. So the coin, has, as I said, already a market capitalization of um, ah, 244 US dollars it is now here. It went actually down 30%. That, that's interesting. And there was a trading volume. I guess that is mainly through the selling of the coin, I, I assume, uh, which, which happened here. Yeah, it went down quite significantly over the last, uh, over the last actually, day. That's, that's very interesting, yeah. 20, last 24 hours, it, it went quite significantly down, as we can see here. However, it is also quite volatile, I have to say, the coin, for such a small market capitalization. Okay, that's all interesting, but what we actually want to see, what they're doing, why the, the, is the coin there? I mean, we might... Uh, uh, stumble upon some real gold nugget, unlikely, but we might find a super interesting coin that uh, is worth investing in. So if not, then it's just entertaining, right? <laughs> so just stick with me. It's a win-win situation, whether we get some really interesting investment or we get just entertained by a really bad uh, um, web page and a, by a really bad uh, coin setup. So let's see, they have a web page and they have also a white paper. So let's open both of them and dig in. Actually, the coin is, is uh, on the watch list of over 3000 people, which is kind of impressive uh, for being on page, I don't know, 60 or 70 on coin market cap. So at least somebody dig there and already check the coin out. Uh, that's, that's actually quite interesting. Okay, then let's see, I wanted also to check. Um, okay, it seems not to be traded on any exchanges. 
maybe we find here something. I assume there is no news about this coin, historical data. Okay, here is something a little bit happening. I mean, it's actually quite, it's, it's not bad. It's definitely traded quite frequently, basically on a daily basis, which, which is interesting. But that's, that's, very, that's very, very interesting, actually. Almost 20,000 Twitter followers, which seems to be also reasonable, actually. No info here. I, I don't think that there are any ratings. Yeah, there are no ratings. Yeah, very, very interesting actually. Let's let's go. Let's check out their their web page. What they're actually doing. Uh, okay, I mean, yeah, the, the web page is not great. Let's say like this. I mean, that doesn't mean that it's a bad uh, a bad coin or that the, that the project or the idea behind it is bad, but definitely um, it's it's um, interesting web page. Let's say like that. So let's check a little bit what they're actually doing. Disrupting pharma with blockchain technology, improving human life. I mean, that's definitely a, a project that sounds interesting for me, like from, the, from, from what they want to achieve. The question is now, okay, how they want to achieve it, um, how big their, um, their uh, marketing, um, the marketing budget is obviously not, not, not huge. But, but who knows, maybe there is something behind it. The first decentralized database for science. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure how that fits together, but um, that's definitely uh, something interesting. We developed the first biomedical DAPP following a, a, to store text, images, even audio and video on the blockchain, 100% on chain. Okay, that's interesting. So basically they want to uh, put scientific data onto the blockchain where all of the data is included in the chain. Uh, I mean, yeah, in principle, I understand why this could be interesting, but this would make the chain huge. I'm not sure if this, is, if this technically makes sense. I'm not an expert in that. So maybe you know better, but, but from my understanding, that would make a, um, a gigantic uh, chain if all of that data is stored in, in, in the blockchain itself. Um, okay, permanently record biomedical data. Okay, a decentralized database. Okay, that, that sounds interesting. HIV cure research. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so they're also researching on an HIV cure using T cells, I guess. So kind of, I guess, a uh, um, vaccine against HIV, which is in development in, in, in many companies um, already, there are even some of them are already on the market. Uh, that's, that's interesting. I, I'm not sure how this all fits together. It's a little bit like, um, I don't see like one common thread yet, but I mean, that might just be me. Cancer and re regeneration research. Anti-cancer uh, therapies, novel regenerative therapies. Um, okay. So, so they have, it seems, some kind of, okay, this is the token, IN, INNBC token info. And is a heart of the innovative peer research defies science ecosystem, supporting the development of novel pharmaceuticals for HIV, cancer, COVID, and our DAPP for medical research. Okay, so they have this coin, and that seems to run uh, um, their, uh, their DAP system for medical research, so the database, uh, um, basically, the data blockchain uh, they want to build um, and supports the, the development of pharmaceutical for HIV, cancer, and COVID. Okay, okay, let's 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 see what's what what's going on here. Let's okay, read more. Why not? Okay, bad stock images, really bad fonts, blue on blue. 
yeah, not not great. Could be better. Oh, it seems to be an Italian team, by the way. I, I just see Italian blockchain revolution. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, here they talk again about the T cell uh, treatment for for AIDS this time. Mm -hmm, okay, interesting. There's an interview of them. I, I will I will drop the link to the web page uh, down in the uh, in the uh, below the video, and uh, you can go to the to that video and watch it yourself and and see what you're thinking about it. Um, but we will more go through the website. It's actually quite interesting. It's it's, it's quite. In I mean, the website is bad, but. As I said, that doesn't mean anything, right? It just means that people are concentrating on the actual technology and not on the marketing, which is, yeah. Okay. Storing the data 100% on chain. That's of course something which I think might be problematic. Just, I mean, not problematic in that sense, but not really scalable because if you have a lot of data on that chain, I mean, just downloading the chain um, might take ages, uh, especially when you think about that it's not just like um, scientific, scientific papers or something like that, but they also want to store their data, scientific data that might be very, very fast, gigantic data amounts. And then if you have to download the, the, the blockchain, that, that, that might take a while. I'm not sure how, how possible that is from, from a technological um, point of view. Okay, proof of authorship. That's interesting. Okay, it's basically, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's basically a cryptographic proof that you have uh, um, authored some some paper or some data or or some some research or something like this. Okay, that's just quite quite simple uh, cryptographic uh, uh, um, solution to that. But yeah, I mean, it makes sense to include this into the into the into that offering. Okay, it's super a lot of text. I mean, it's very scientific. You see that. I mean, I'm myself coming from from. Uh, um, from deep tech commercialization, so from um, technology that comes out of the university and is commercialized, and you see that very often with with research teams, um, PowerPoint presentation where you have to read for two hours to understand one slide. Uh, yeah, it's not great. Like again, website design is very bad, marketing is very bad. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. That 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 might be. You know, if I have to read through all of this, many people won't do it. So, I mean, it's good if they have the white paper. Uh, we could go to that. Okay, here's the white paper, actually. So they have a white paper, and, and it seems like mostly they have just copied parts of the white paper onto their web page, which is suboptimal, I would say. So, yeah, that, that could be definitely better. That could be definitely better. So they seem to use, the, yeah, Binance, Binance blockchain, basically the Binance environment, uh, um, smart chain system of Binance they're using. Makes sense, many, many coins do that. Um, okay, they want to switch to Ethereum 2.0 when it's released. Yeah, might be, might be better. I'm not an expert, but I, I think the, the, the smart contract system of Ethereum might be a little bit better for what they're doing. However, yeah, I guess the low fees is, is the fees might be a, a problem because if you want to store that much data, um, I mean, you have to order this all with, with contracts and that, that will get expensive, I think, currently at least on Ethereum, I, I, would, I would assume. A DeFi sign system. Okay, yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the idea behind it is, is interesting to see that as a storage of data, 
but in the same time as like investing in 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 research i think that's actually not not like a bad idea it's it's definitely not a bad idea Yeah, it looks actually quite interesting. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I was expecting much, much worse, to be very honest. So, so yeah, maybe we found something interesting. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's let's check maybe the team out. Um, who's the team? Maybe we can we can see something more from that. Jonathan Fior, owner and chief scientific officer. Okay, from Los Angeles, U.S but he has Italian parents. Okay, so he, he seemed to be moved back to Italy. Um, okay, he, he has a background in biotechnology. Okay, that's interesting. So they're basically a scientific team out of the bio, biotechnology field, not necessarily of, the, of, of, uh, of crypto, crypto team IT, things like this might be might be a good thing i mean i understand they use they use existing uh, um infrastructure to build the their their coin on so it's not so heavy on development um i mean there is development of course but it's not like super heavy on development so i think this in general looks interesting definitely enrico durand marketing director executive consultant um he should definitely go over the web page and 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 fix some things there up but yeah looks also interesting at least i mean maybe in a moment we can check out the guys on linkedin just to understand better what they're doing community manager okay yeah um chief legal officer yeah i mean it's pharmaceuticals i guess you know that's the first thing that you need is somebody who deals with legal stuff i i i get that um, that will be here quite important because I mean they want to 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 research on cancer cures and HIV. So at some point there will be also animal trials and a later stage human trials. Yeah, that's 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 heavy on legal. So th that guy will be very busy, I think, if they are managing what they're doing. Okay, that that's a, that's interesting. Let's maybe um, check out the guys on LinkedIn just to see what they're doing. I don't know if they are. Um, we will we will figure that out. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm also seeing this just as you see it. So um, I hope that it's not too boring for you to go through all of that with me. Let's check the guys out. Here he is, Chief Scientific Officer Innovation, Innovation Bio Research Limited. Okay, it seems they started in 2018. Okay, I, I don't, I don't really yet understand. Like, do they do this, uh, this development themselves for these, um, for these therapies, or do they just use their platform for financing the stuff? I have not, I have not understood this so far. I mean, maybe you have some, some better understanding of this. But uh, I, I haven't I haven't understood this yet. But maybe we will we will get there. We will get there. Don't worry. Okay. Him I cannot. There, there are some people, but um, yeah. Let's check this guy out. Ah, there is no info. So. Yeah, I, I I don't think that this guy has a um, that Enrico has a has a LinkedIn page. I mean, happens, right? Let's check out Alessandro. I'm sorry, I'm 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 leaving Michael out because he's a community manager. I want to more understand what is the what is the technological background here. Uh, for now, okay, there are a couple of guys. Um, Maybe. Okay, I would take no longer to to go to go through that and and find the right Alessandro Gatti.
Yeah, I don't see him. So so I don't know. Maybe maybe he's also not on. I, I would say let's let's dig a little bit deeper on the website. Actually, now I'm kind of interested what they're actually doing. What what's the deal here? Um, let's see. Okay, here they have some 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 parts of the web page. Wait, I have to uh, my own picture move a little bit to the side, and we can see it. Uh, let's check the token. What what the token can do. Okay, I think this page is already where we have been. Again, yeah, data stored on chain. Okay, so they basically want to store the information, scientific findings and stuff like this on chain. And basically, then it's it's protected. I mean, ownership is protected. Also, the time and uh, um, yeah, basically the the time and date of when it was created is protected. And you can have some kind of control how it how it's distributed, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, not bad idea. But I still don't understand how um, how it fits together with the cancer research. That, that I I really haven't. Um, Okay, you can buy INNBC. Uh, you can exchange it uh, uh, with a, a Tether, I think uh, that is, on big one. Let's see what's... Oh, you, you, well, that, 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 that's a crazy chart. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you see, it's like... Um, yeah, it's actually quite volatile, which is, which is super interesting. I was expecting that the last uh, projects there would be basically dead. And and would be like uh, you know like swim, swimming like a like a stick in the water, not much happening to them. But I mean, yeah, I, I was obviously wrong with that. Okay, HIV HIVQ research. Let's go there and let's check that out. Um, yeah, I get way too much text, guys. Please, like like you know, like nobody's reading that. I mean, if I want to know more, I go to your white paper, but. You know something okay i mean they're explaining they're explaining the cancer research how i see it but i i still don't understand how how the how the token they're creating and this and this research database fits together with the uh with the cancer research and the, and the hiv research this i really don't get Okay, you research Milan, so the Milan-based. I have also seen something from university there, so I, I guess there are a team that comes from university. Um, yeah, I mean, it all makes sense. Like, I mean, separated, these things make kind of sense, but I have no, I, I don't really understand how they how they fit together. Okay, decentralized database. I mean, this is the coin they basically want to, to make. Okay, here we now go some kind of weird window up. Okay, it seems this decentralized database is already live. I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, Ether uh, 2.0 is, is is currently um, happening, so I'm not sure when they will when they will change. I mean, they, I, I assume they're still on Binance. I'm not reading this now. All sorry, guys. Maybe I will make another video if it's interesting enough for you. But I'm not reading all of that tackle way too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I mean, they're selling it here as also, yeah, they can do NFTs. Clearly, if they can store uh, scientific data or, or papers or whatever, they can also store pictures uh, and, and, and tokenize them. Okay, yes, I, I get it. But um, yeah, I don't see the, the, you know, like 
there are others, other systems who do that, who are definitely much more heavy on, on programmers and the, in the team and who, who know the field much better and who have, I guess, also a way better solution than them. I mean, there is like, they're, they're building it on, 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 on existing infrastructure. They're very interesting solutions so like Solana and, and, and similar things and uh, Cardano who are building their own infrastructure for these kind of applications. So I'm not sure how, how valid, how, what, what the utility of that, of that system may be. And I still don't get, I, I still don't get, I have no understanding of how the data, the, the data storing in the decentralized database comes together with the HIV research and, and cancer research. I really don't understand. And maybe like if some of you understand this project better, um, please leave comments below and just explain me how, how you think that works. I, I don't get it yet why this is together. Maybe they financing finance through the proceedings of this uh, token, um, the, the research on HIV cancer and stuff like that. But I mean, there are a team of four Four people, I think it was like, I mean, cancer research and, and, and HIV research is usually quite big companies who are doing this. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure like what, what is here the point if this is um, just a crazy idea of, of some guys who wanted to come up with something that they're already doing and interested in like biotechnologies, cancer research, HIV research, and then something which they are, which is their hobby like blockchain and they just mix it together somehow or if there's like real utility, I really don't understand it. I mean, I will also dig a little bit deeper. Maybe some of you have know already that project and have some deeper insight. So just get in contact, let me know. I'm happy to learn more. Um, for now, I definitely will not invest in that, in that coin uh, at the moment. Um, uh, it's too many open questions. I would also not suggest any of you to do it, but this is also not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a programmer. As I say always before, I have, I have a little bit uh, dicked into this. I just saw the webpage the first time. So don't believe in anything I say. Do your own research. I will leave all of the sources I used here. I mean, you saw basically all of the sources I used. Uh, it's basically their webpage. Uh, but I will, I will have a link to the webpage down below. So a checkout for yourself. And again, please, if you enjoyed the content, if you want to see more of this, if you want to dig into other uh, coins at the bottom of the barrel on CoinMarketCap, then please like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, put in some comments. It really helps me to be motivated to do more of these videos. I really enjoy it, but I also want that you enjoy it. So please let me know what you think about this new format. And um, yeah, then see you next time, maybe with a video more going in to, do, to the deep of this coin, most likely with some other coins. So see you then. Bye.